and welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So I am a bit anxious, excited, and nervous for this video. So I usually am horribly bad at go boarding the trending videos, and I believe I'm boarding this trending video at the very last minute. So I am going to do a Bob Ross painting as you guys know I am an art teacher and I like to do painting a lot. I love to paint a lot. I like painting faces and eyes. Now Bob Ross do, does landscapes and landscapes is my weak spot. But you know what? This is going to be a challenge and I'm ready and I'm here for this video. So the first time I saw this I saw Threadbanger, the YouTube channel, do this and they actually had to listen to just the audio and then what made me want me to do it really bad was when I saw Jenna Marbles when she did her Bob Ross video. So I am ready. I have everything set up. I, as you can tell, I have most of the paints, although I did have to go to the store and get some of the paints because Bob uses oil paints and I have a, literally, a small kit of oil paints. You know what? I'm here. I'm ready to do oil and yes, as you can tell, I'm ready to do Bob. I have my Bob Ross shirt nicely done and yes uh, although I do not trust myself I am a painter but I am messy so I am going to wear my apron which has a Bob Ross button so the painting that I chose is a copper winter so it's officially fall right now and where I live is in Washington and we get snow so I thought this will be a good painting to do for the entrance of fall into winter so yes oh my god I'm a bit nervous but let's get started okay Okay, so I have everything set up. I even uh, put in place an order of the paints that is shown on my palette. That way I'm not confused of which browns or blues or whatever I'm using. Um, I typically do not use a palette to paint. I normally use palette paper, but this is the Bob video. This is the challenge, so I'm going to use a palette. And I have my brushes, I have my oil brushes, I have my paint thinner, and I have a video. So, okay, let's do this. FYI, I never watched Bob Ross when I was little. I was more into Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It wasn't until my, maybe my late teens where I discovered Bob Ross and who he was and started watching his videos. So, never saw him when I was little. <laughs> so let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're uh -huh. doing that, let me show you what I've got done already. I have my standard old canvas up here. But today, I've taken a mixture of liquid clear and liquid white, both, both of them. Did that already. Canvas is completely done with liquid white or whatever he used, so I hopefully I didn't do as much. I felt like I might have, so we'll see how this goes. Use some sap green okay. and alizarin crimson. So equal there portions we are. of the sap This makes a beautiful, beautiful brown. And the crimson. God, he's so fast at this. Okay, I think I got it. Right into some of that. <laughs> Just drop in a little bit of color here and there and there and here. So, I'm going to dark sienna. Okay, it's hang a little on, bit on. different. Than so made the brown. Now some strokes. Learning from Jenna Marbles, you just gotta do it. Oh, that is so dark. That is so dark. What do I do? What do I do? Bob, help! Can I put more red? It's so dark though. I'm using this. It's, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, brush and just. Okay, it's dark. My bad. brush to burnt amber so okay it looks identical I did not make brown right okay <laughs> oh well the darkest brown okay and then he puts it in the corner here this side let's go right about there and I'm just just putting in some browns I want a very warm warm painting there's no such thing as a mistake, it's just happy little accidents. So now he's washing his brush on paint thinner. Um, okay. To paint off your brush. You're not supposed to hit the bucket though, like I did. <laughs> I'm just shaking it in a trash can there. Take a little bit of titanium. It makes it look so easy to clean this brush. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Um, okay, so I don't have a bucket in my art studio, which is basically a room. I do have some paint thinner, though, so that maybe should help. Okay, um, I 
can see now why he has a bucket. I don't have a bucket, so like Jenna Marble does, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and do it. Be right back. Okay, brush is semi-cleanish, so let's move on. Take a little bit of titanium white now on the brush. Same old two-inch brush. And let's go back up in here. And I'm just gonna begin taking a little of that white and just allowing it to blend together. I just wanna make a very warm little background. This is making me feel better. The blending part. I like to blend. Yeah, really wait, 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 Bob, go back, go back. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Warm. I'm so fast. Hang on, Bob. Hang on. Okay, so we'll look like he fade this brown. It's a very warm uh, color. How's that? I think. Okay, so he cleans his brush again. So, small brush, same brown, paint thinner to make it go like watercolor in a way. There we are. And you can put as much detail on yours as you want. There, little limbs and sticks and twigs. Okay, so basically I'm just doing background trees with a smaller brush, so wish me luck. Okay. A little white on it, and I'm going to go right into that brown we made out of alizarin crimson and satin green. A little white just to, just to make it a little bit brighter. We're just tapping one. Just a little background. Bushes, like his brows look more red, mine just look dark. I think I didn't get the correct crimson. It says crimson red, so I don't know. I'm gonna put some more red to get more of that red feeling on. More of the red brown. Okay, so bushes. And you decide. This is where you have to make all these big decisions. Bushes all the way across. Got it. Little things live in your Bob, wait. Oh my god, you did that so fast. I'm like, okay. Bushes, bushes. Bushes. I forgot to put one color on. I forgot to put my yellow. Woo! And brush, and he goes in between this yellow, this yellow, and other. Also, basically all the yellows, right? Just have a few little highlights. Don't want too many. Don't want too many. But I'm still mixing. How? Okay. So it's basically a highlight. Got it. Titanium white, whole two inch brush. And you just decide where the snow is laying here and drop it in. Okay, that so easy. Doing snow. It's a little wild at times. There. If you remember a couple of years ago, we had John Thelma on the show. I asked him if he'd do a portrait of me, and he said, no, nah, it was too easy. All he had to do was paint a steel wool ball. Bob, what, what do you use? What, what, what blue was that? Brush hair. Okay, Russian blue. Something about like it. You just decide where it's at. Put it down. It will go right across. And that easy. It'll make the indication of some water. Maybe I'll add a little brown to that. It's too blue. Yeah, I like that much better. See how you can change your mind? That easy. And Working on the water. I think I might have went too low. So. Okay, the browns, okay. We got some more big bushes that live. Do now, right here. Another dark right bush. There. Okay, you like bushes, Bob. There. You can put These bushes are going to have to be small, Bob, because I did not leave enough room, so. Bear with me, Bob. All right. Bob, hang on. I'm still working on these bushes. Ah! I need a better easel. Let's squeeze it. <laughs> Pink, Pink, or the yellow, which. 
and let's go in here and it would just pick out indication here and there of a little bush that lives in here. Something about like so. Bob, I think I put too much. There. Intentionally pick up a little of that brown. It ends up being beautiful shadows in your painting. Beautiful little oh, shadows. Oh, that. Okay. Okay, that Thank makes you. sense. Oh, that's so cool. Why? <laughs> You take a knife, just just a clean knife, and you can go back in here and scrape through a and let, knife. let the canvas show through it. It makes it look like little sticks and twigs and just all kinds of little doodles that live in there. Oh. And it also helps create that illusion of I like big trees. He does like trees. I'm gonna go right. Okay, this is your bravery test. A lot of painting. Right what? There. How? How did you do that? Big old tree lives there. Maybe. I'll tell you what. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he has a fan brush, dark brown, black, and he just... Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Thicker. <laughs> All right, I can, okay, so he does two. I tell you, uh, maybe, yeah, let's have a whole family of trees there. Another Mama, tree. Papa. That's super close. Maybe a couple little kids that are about grown. Away, so okay, so thin one, which I've been doing correctly. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me do it again. Pull that flat, cut across, see the little roll of paint. That's exactly what we need. So let me finish this tree for you down there. And so he said this was, I don't know what type of tree he said this was, so now grab some white. Wait, how do you do it again? Ah! And mine does not look like that. Okay, so go down. Cut across. Cut across. Oh, okay. I'm scared to do this. Well. Something about white cat. Just touch. Give it a little pull. There. But no pressure. Absolutely. It's like you're putting snow on the mountain. If you've painted with me before and did mountains, it's just like you're putting snow on the mountains. It'll work down on this one. It doesn't matter. You can work up, work down, whichever way. There we are. Little. Mine looks really muddy. His looks like like his looks like white. Mine looks like gray. Like. <laughs> okay. So now what he does is he goes back with the black and does the same thing. Color that was a little bit of black, Van Dyke brown, and I like to. I like to have birch trees that really, when they're dry, you can touch and it feels like birch bark. So I really add a lot, make it thick. But that's up to you. You can make them very thin or you can make them thick. It's one of the things that I like so much about oil paint is that you can build it up very, very thick. You can make some cool. Okay, so he does the same to the small tree back there. Script liner brush. I'm going to use that same color, black, Van Dyke brown, thin paint. He has a brush. That's I don't know what brush he's using. So he said he used black and that brown. Okay. We're going to give our trees new branches. Just drop them in. And arms on a the tree, they just sort of grow wherever they feel like. His branches look like branches, but when I do it, it looks like noodles. <laughs> Just have some fun. Okay, hang on, Bob. I need to reload my palette because I don't didn't put enough paint like what you did. Okay. Mix them together. I think in our world today, let's have 
one little evergreen tree. Take the old fan brush. There he is, see? I just drop him in. Like that. Gotta make a decision though. How tall is he? Where is his little bottom gonna be? Bob's tree looks like a tree. Mine looks like not even a tree. So more white. There, let's let that disappear right on out there somewhere. We don't know where it goes. Vacation of a little trunk in there. Hmm, grab another fan brush, put a little liquid white on it to live in. What a place. A few little doers that live in here. Just little sticks and twigs and things that brown. Let's go right along in here. More bushes, we'll just okay. Tap a few little gooders that live in there. Back into our liquid white, a little bit of the yellows and the ochres and whatever. Put a few little, that's really all there is to it. But isn't that a fun little painting? It's one that you can do basically with no problem. And I think you'll enjoy it. Is that it, Mom? Am I done? Year, this little rascal call it done. Oh my God, we reached the end. I hope you've enjoyed it from all of us here. We'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. Okay. I successfully did a Bob Ross painting and holy cow, I love a lot of paint on my hands. I knew it was messy, but okay, so here is my lovely Bob Ross painting. Um, I honestly think I did pretty good. I know there's some white spots because I was a paint thinner, so I might just paint over that, but this is an oil painting, my I should say my very first oil painting I've ever done in one sitting. When I do oil painting, it takes multiple days. So uh, I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I mean, it doesn't look identical to the photo. Here's a photo. You know what? It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright guys, <laughs> this is today's video. Um, Bob Ross. He's super talented. He's amazing. He's just an amazing guy overall. So, anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope I did Bob justice. My branches, oh my god, look like noodles. I can't even look at them anymore. But I think overall I did pretty good. So, holy cow, guys. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so please subscribe to my channel. I want to see more Bob Ross videos. I obviously love painting, so just tell me which one I should do next. Um, I want to do one with a lot of bright colors, like his sunset colors. I stuck with the winter and fall theme, which, don't get me wrong, is pretty good, so. Oh my god, yeah. So, anyways, uh, so yeah, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter links are down below if you want to follow me on my uploads. Uh, Halloween is very coming very soon, the month of October, and I can't wait because I have big plans for that month, so. Yeah, alright, I'm going to go clean my area because my area is nice and dirty, so. Alright, see you guys. Bye!